You think that I need all the love in the world, but I need you. Cause living alone just ain't living at all. Ooh, I need you. You think that I need all the love in the world I need you Okay you guys, I don't want to get flat So I can't give you too much Let me say good morning, afternoon, evening To you, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on I want to say Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, is they a reckoning for us? Yes, it is. But we're not at the minute mark where I can start talking freely. So I'm going to have to let a little more time pass. Y'all know how it go. If you've been here long enough, you know what happens, okay? You got to wait for a few more minutes. See who else shows up. And as long as it gets to that point that we can keep going, certainly we will, right? Because the trolls and the drones are out there and they just are waiting for me to say the wrong word so they can report back to you too. <laughs> Exodus, the movement of the people. Exodus. I love it. Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Here we are again. We ready. Let's talk about this thing. Listen, y'all. In case y'all haven't figured it out yet, um, we are a bottom cast, okay? And there's no more time for intellectual masturbation or what happened in 1492 or who you should vote for. Um, Republicans or Democrat, okay, it, we have to be able to think beyond that first and foremost, because you know, do you know that voting is really, it's supposed to be an exchange, right? Not exchange because one person got done a favor by somebody and now they want all of y'all and trying to lead all of you to somebody because somebody did a favor for them. Please don't fall for that okie doke. Okay, um, any sane and rational black person at this point, whether they've been to prison or whether they haven't, should be telling black people, listen, we have to either start and continue to have a political party. And we it comes to times where you have to shut rank. It comes a time where you have to shut down from all that other stuff and decide how you're going to cock your stuff. It does. How are you going to defend yourself? Because all that, nobody else is going to defend us, as you can see. I mean, you get we get shooters that just get walked off, you know. And I don't, my, my point is, when you lay down on all those people and you, you, you treat it the way that Peyton guy, whatever the hell his name was, I'm not saying you should have shot him down and killed him. I'm not even saying all that. Because I know that... Uh, the subway shooter was also taken off, uh, and they didn't beat him down and shoot him, okay? So let's just keep it real. What I am saying, Dylan Roof was given a hamburger, so we do know the difference, okay? So we have law enforcement officers that are also white supremacists, and when they are white supremacists, then they are... They consider that a badge of honor when they see somebody like Dylan Roof create and inflict on our community um, the devastation that he did in that church. Okay, 
that he was totally prepared for. He totally did his homework. He knew what church it was. He knew where he was going. And he knew what kind of historic statement he was making. We have to make a historic statement. You know, we have everything that the larger community have at this point. And we got bloods and we got crips, right? I'm not advocating for violence. I'm just advocating for people to know who the real enemy is. It's not yourself. You got to stop running through these neighborhoods destroying yourself because white supremacy has driven you mad. And so... Now you in bed with the corrupt officers. Okay, let's keep it real. And you are doing dirty work, doing all kinds of dirty work. You're being, um, you're telling, you're snitching for the police, you're doing certain things. Listen, at this point, it becomes all hands on deck. We have to withdraw from everybody and show us, draw a line in the sand. Whether you are blood or a crip, where you stand? Do you stand for protecting your people? Do you stand for protecting your people? Or do you just stand by yourself? Because if that's the case, we can't afford you. And we got to keep our grass cut real low right now. Because we are a community that has been that is terrorized every day. If we're not terrorized by the outer society, we are terrorized by our own. And now it's time out for all that. You have to stand up and be counted and let what side you on. Who, who, who is on the side for taking care of your pyramids, your family, your existence, or you going to let us be mowed down by the larger society at large? And we can't always be on the defense. Sometimes it takes offense. It really does. And I'm not advocating for anything other than for us to defend ourselves. As Americans or cats in the oven, kittens, we have a right to. We have a right to. And at this point, we better start thinking up because our First Amendment is to bear arms. It's so many arms. Everybody got arms. What did Gil Scott say? Everybody's got a pistol. Everybody's got a 45. Listen, they don't even got that no more, Gil. And the philosophy seems to be at least as near as I can see, when the other folks give up theirs, I'll give up mine. This is a violent civilization. <laughs> if civilization is where I am. So this shit didn't just start. It's been going on. I just want to know how we line up. Let's keep the grass cut down low. Because white people need to deal with their white supremacist relatives, and we're going to have to deal with our destructive relatives. relatives The ones that destroy the community, so we can't see straight and we don't know where we're being attacked from, we got to deal with them. And then we'll be strong enough to deal with them other ones. And in the meantime, white people, you don't need to join over here. We appreciate your thought process. But you need to identify and call out and do something about your crazy ass relatives that's out here doing this kind of stuff to us. So with that being said, that's my morning rant for the day. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And follow me on its platforms. See you in the next video. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram.